place where you're feeling bad you got this whole storyline going on in your head and trust me I'm talking about me because I've done it on more than one occasion and I've done it like a lot and made a situation for myself far worse than it ever was I just let my imagination take over and basically that was letting ego have its way and we can't let ego have its way we have to remember that we're not a body you're not a body you're a divine spark of light a soul and you just happen to be living in a body this is the body that you chose for this existence but the body is not you you are what's in the body what's dwelling inside the body. So you have to learn to separate your body, your vehicle that you travel around in every day, from your light body, which is your divine soul, your light. That's when they say you want to let your light shine through. You just letting your soul come forth, letting the divine shine through you. Through this vehicle that you've chosen. So today again. Um, this is just my update. Uh, for the. For the uh, seven days. Writing 77 forgiveness statements. Every day. And I kind of took it a little bit further. Um, with mine. Because at the end of. Every 77. As you can see, 77. Uh, I go ahead and write an experience. I know my writing is a little, (laughs) it's not the best. Because sometimes when you are in the moment, it just flows. But I write experience and then I write what I was experiencing for that day. And it's it's not always long. I think um, yesterday it was kind of short. Yeah, yesterday it was short. So whatever is on my heart, whatever is on my mind, uh, that's what I go ahead and write um, after the experience is over. And this is my um, take on this particular challenge. I just chose to do that because once you wrote 77 statements of forgiveness, uh, you kind of want to tie that up. I'm a person that I really don't like loose ends. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, my daughter and I, we, we don't, we call them safety pins. We like to pin things up. So, you know, tighten it down. So I really don't like safety pins. So, um, nothing against the safety pin itself, but I don't like to try to have to make something work or make something happen. So we just call it a safety pin. So, yeah, this uh, experience, this statement of whatever my experience was for that day is just a way of kind of wrapping up that day of forgiveness. And um, another thing, I make sure that I do my forgiveness statement in the meditation room because there's all this light that comes in here um, in the morning. Especially around 6, 536 or so when the sun is coming up, it comes right through this window in the summertime. So I really like it because it helps to light everything up. Um, I just like the way that feels. And yeah, just like my meditation pillows and altar and my wall of crosses. And yeah. And then you can see behind me, I have my affirmations, my I am statements on my mirror. So when I look in the mirror, I can see my I am. I can see myself and my I am statements. And then, you know, we got the Buddha there. <laughs> and then we got the this little mandala, like the symbol thing. I just liked it, so I purchased it. And then another bookshelf and some candles. And I think this is, uh, I never really found out who she was. But I believe this is a, um, 
I know it's a Buddha type figure, but I think it's Kuan Yin. Not real sure, but I think it is. But as you see this, when they have this halo, you see this halo that they have around like this? That means enlightenment. So they've reached a stage of enlightenment. That's why any pictures of Christ or the representation of Christ or any enlightened being, they have this halo. And this halo means that they, they've reached enlightenment. That's what that means. And then when you see this, uh, this on their, in the middle of their forehead, that represents like they have their third eye is open. So, I believe she is Kuan Yin. Uh... And one other thing that I just learned is like, you see the ears, when their ears are long like this, you know what that means? That means that it's better to listen than to speak. So, see, the ears are long and the mouth is small. So, that's just a little something for you. <laughs> Uh, knowledge is to be shared, not harbored. I am a true believer in that. And no, uh, I'm not showing my face this morning because I am very, very organic today. Um, I like to go ahead and tend to my spiritual practices before my daily spiritual practices before I actually, um, you know, begin moving around and doing things and whatnot. So, <laughs> I'll probably see you later on again today. I had a completely separate journal for my forgiveness, see? And it's it really has filled up quite a bit. Um, this exercise is a, you know, it's a really in-depth exercise. So, it's going to your soul. So, I have pr a pretty lengthy experience today that I shared. And tomorrow will be my last day. And um, I've used quite a few pages. So, uh, that's all I have for this moment. I thank you for watching this video. You can follow me on YouTube at Divine Lady Ninhursag. I am a um, spiritual metaphysical um, practitioner so uh, my YouTube channel is probably not for everyone but please hop over I assure you that all is in divine order and as it should be uh, I'm a spiritual life coach I'm an author and I'm a mentor and an international speaker. Uh, you can also follow me on Patreon. Uh, you can follow me at the lowest level. And I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, we're having so much fun over there on Patreon. My Patreon is called Occult Knowledge to Blissful Living. And we go in depth over there with a deeper understanding of the occult knowledge and please do not be fearful of anything occult just means secret and there's really no such thing as secrets <laughs> just for the record because the information is out there you just have to know what it is you're looking for and where to look for it and if you ask spirit, spirit will guide you in the direction in which you should go. Also, um, I'm on Instagram at Divine Lady Ninhursag on Instagram, Divine Lady Ninhursag on Patreon, and you can also follow me at Divine Lady Ninhursag on Facebook. On Sundays, I have the the Goddess Zone radio show on Blog Talk Radio. So there are quite a few places that you can follow me. I will be doing quite a bit of uh, activity after the summer. You can join us at the Punani Power Retreat. Uh, 
the at the end of this month, which is August. Uh, August 31st through September the 2nd, which is Labor Day weekend. And you can go on Eventbrite and just put in Punani Power Retreat. And it should come up. It's going to be in the um, Northern Virginia area, right outside of D.C., Crystal City. And this event is all about moving the energy in your womb so that you can release all those feelings of frustration, uh, anger, um, depression, all those things that's bogging you down. And for women, we have that gut feeling because that's where... Uh, in our gut, in our stomach, is where we hold those things. So, you know, if you ever felt like, um, I know somebody lying to me, or it could be your children, or your boyfriend, or your husband, or whoever, and you feel it, something ain't right, and it's in your gut, because that's where we hold all those emotions. And we're going to have a Qigong master there that is going to help us with moving that energy around and releasing it in a way that will benefit us. Helping us to relieve all those feelings and emotions that no longer serve us. Also, we're going to be learning about yoni eggs and how we can use yoni eggs to help us um, just to help us, uh, what do I want to say, have better creativity. We know that the yoni and the womb are areas of creativity. You know, that is the most creative energy that we have because this is the energy that brings forth life so it's nothing you know sexual or anything that it now it, it does assist with more sexuality more orgasms um it does assist in those areas that's not that's not what it's completely about um but there's nothing wrong with sexuality you know, only over here in the United States, it, you know, not only, but this is one of the few places where uh, sexuality has such a taboo on it. So we need to move past that and move into a higher state of consciousness and utilize all that the divine has given us to realize our greater selves and the greatest greater version of ourselves so that we can create the life that we desire with the tools that we have been given it's time to come out of that old way of thinking and those old ways of doing things because if you do not you will continue to get what you've always gotten so if you want something different and you want something better for your life, then now is the time to make a decision because everything begins with a decision and it's better to start now and taking baby steps because it takes two years to completely change your consciousness, no matter what area of your consciousness you're working on. If you're working on... um Changing your wealth consciousness, that's another thing. If you're working on changing your spiritual consciousness, that's another thing. And it takes work. You have to do the work. And I do not have my financial uh, journal in here, but I do have my daily spiritual practice journal. And this was uh, one from April to May. And as you can see, this thing is full because every day, every day, just working to change your consciousness every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. It takes work. So I'll go ahead and wrap that up. And, and amongst that, I have other journals. My daily spiritual practice journal. Now my forgiveness journal. Um, I think this was uh, my enlightenment circle journal which uh, I have my enlightenment circle that I get on the line with every day. Um, so 
these are just journals after journals after journals because with journals you're getting that information out you're getting you're writing down what you're experiencing you're writing down all those things that um you know just writing and cleaning and clearing so all right that's my video for today i love you with my whole soul and thank you for watching this video you can follow me on those uh social media platforms that i spoke about i'm going to have a very busy fall season so stay tuned i'll be traveling to bali indonesia to salem massachusetts to sedona arizona and chicago illinois who knows where else i will be i am led by spirit not by the body so thank you so much for joining me on those other platforms i love you with my whole soul have a great day